The function n of x is equal to 90 times 0.86 to the x plus 69 can be used to predict the temperature of a cup of hot chocolate in degrees Fahrenheit after x minutes. What is the approximate average rate of change of the temperature of the hot chocolate in degrees per minute over the interval from 0 to 6? So the formula to find the average rate of something and since we're since the function here is denoted with the capital N, I'm going to use the same uh, notation here. Uh, so n bar, that's the average, is going to equal to, say over the interval from a to b, is going to equal to n evaluated at b minus n evaluated at a divided by b minus a. And what this really translates to is the average rate of change is really the slope at the endpoints, between the endpoints. So let's take this, uh, this idea and let's try to find out what is the average rate of change. And to do that, we're going to use our graphing calculators. So I'm going to go to my graphing calculator. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go into the y equal. I want to clear whatever is there because I don't need any of those things. I just need to enter in the function that we're given. So that's 90 times 0.86 to the power of x and plus 96, I believe it was. Let me see here. Plus 69. Plus 69. And just one more thing between 0 and 6, yes. So what we want to do is we want to evaluate this function at those respective points, right? Let me just show you a little something about like, your calculator. We can evaluate uh, the function by doing this. I can take uh, the, um, the, I can tell the calculator, okay, by pressing the VARS button, V-A-R-S, which is right next to the clear button. You press that. You go over to Y VARS. VAR stands for variable. Okay, so the y variable, you enter on option 1 there. And then if you enter on option 1 again, that's y1, we are calling on y1, which is my n of x equation. And what are we doing to that? Well, we are evaluating this at 6, close parentheses. And then we're going to subtract that by, we're going to do this again. We're going to press vars, go to y vars, enter on function, enter on y1, and then we're going to again evaluate it at 0. We press enter, and that right there is the numerator of the um, of the expression that we're trying to find, right? So uh, that's n of b minus n of a, or n of 6 minus n of 0, and we're going to divide that by 6, and we end up with negative 8.93. So this ends up being negative 8.93 or option 1.